The last step left to do in the process is to create the finished NC code by post-processing our tool paths. The operations and tool paths we set up from the parts features will get translated into the machine's language. The type of machine tool post that is being used will dictate the format or language that it will be created in. When you post process a part, CamWorks will create two files, an NC program and a default setup sheet. To get started, I can either select the Post Process button in the CamWorks toolbar, or I can right-click on the NC Manager and select Post Process. In case this is grayed out, make sure you selected a post processor when you defined the machine and created toolpaths for the part. The Post Output File dialog box displays so that you can specify the file name of the NC program. By default, CamWorks will store the file in the same folder where the part you are working with has been stored but you can browse to any location you want to store the file. In the Save as Type drop-down box, CamWorks provides a list of commonly used file extensions. For this example, we'll use a .txt file extension and press Save. This is the Post Process Output dialog box. If I click on the Step button, you can see each line of the NC code generate each time I click. If I click the play or the fast button, it will create all of the NC code in its entirety. If I open up an explorer window and browse to the folder that I saved the NC code, you will see several files that CamWorks created for this part. Among them is a set file. This is the setup sheet. You can open this file using Notepad or any other text editor. When I open it, you can see information such as the machine, the post, the material, and the tooling that will be used to machine the part. In the same folder, you can see the NC code in the text file I saved. This file can also be opened and edited using a generic text editor. However, until you get extremely familiar with how the data in the files will affect actual machining results, I recommend that any changes you need to make be made in CamWorks and then run the post process again.